Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. Please excuse my voice, y'all. I am semi losing it. It does seem to be better today, but um, <clears throat> it is very strained right now. So, if you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. I would love to read for you. Those who have purchased readings, it's been my pleasure getting to know you. If you have purchased a video reading, know that I am working very hard on getting it to you. I'm working all day long on trying to get caught up on videos, but I spend part days on FaceTime and I can't read video reads every day. Um, I have discontinued uh, two of the video reads on my menu but I have FaceTime readings, I have a recorded Twin Flame read, and a next day in-depth love read that is recorded if you are interested in that. So let's hop into this energy, Scorpio. Um, we are going to do uh, the same reading I have on my menu, the in-depth love read, the next day love reading. Um, it is how is your person feeling? What are they going to do next? And what is the blockages? What's going on in their life? This is a no contact read. But first, two messages for you. The first one, your affirmation. Anything I want is always within my power to attain. This is my favorite one. Everything I want is always within my power to attain, period. One more time. Anything I want is always within my power to attain. Tell yourself this repeatedly, over and over. Start training your subconscious mind. Start training yourself. But the trick is, is to believe it. Believe that you can have anything you want, anything you desire. Our thoughts create our reality. Understand, if you want to do some shadow work, doing those journal prompts will be very, very beneficial for you as you can reflect on some things and um, as well as put it back out there into the universe. Studies show that only 20% um, of people write out their intentions, write things out. And you all, um, in this day and age with typing everything, Trust me, writing things out is a different way of training your brain. It's very important to actually write, write them out um, with a pen and paper because there, there are st also studies show um, the difference between how it trains your brain as well as putting it out there into the universe. So what do you want to attain? Make a list. What do you want? Because anything you want you can manifest some fast, some may take some time. If you are, um, you know, not in a good place financially right now and you're trying to manifest um, being a millionaire, it may take a minute to get there, right? So start small. What do you want to attain? You have to believe it. Um, it manif manifestation is about belief, is about feeling. That's why, Scorpio, you are such a strong manifester because you have such strong feelings. Peace. I love these. I just got these. They're beautiful. We're going to use these a lot as a tool. So this is your crown chakra. You may be getting downloads, um, Scorpio, but you have called, called upon this card today to remind you that peace is available to you in each moment. Peace lives within you and surrounds you at all times. You are encouraged to connect with the powerful healing vibration of your soul and the universe. Your life may be feeling out of control and stress, out of control and full of stress as of lately. And it is time to stop for a moment and recognize and deeply connect to the peace that lies within you. You may feel the urge to meditate or simply go somewhere in nature where you are able to sit by yourself to feel peaceful energy that is being offered to you at all times. When you can stop and connect with this energy, it will invoke a deep process of cleansing and renewal, which will make you feel lighter, clearer, and more energized. Sitting with the peacefulness of your being will bring about deep healing on so many levels. We are striving to find peace in the world, and we don't realize that 
all their surviving actually stopped us from truly being in the energy of peace. It is now time to stop and be in the peace that resonates in every cell of your being. If you have asked a question, this card is a sign that peace is present and the answer you feel the peace in your soul and bathe in the magical essence. So a lot of you are having trouble finding peace, having trouble finding peace in your life, peace in your heart. Um, I know that I used to pray for, for serenity. I actually have serenity tattooed on my shoulder um, because I just wanted to feel peaceful. I just, I didn't real. I just wanted serenity. That's just what I wanted. And I didn't realize that I could find it within myself the way I have. Um, know y'all that it is totally possible to find peace within yourself, to find peace within your soul. If you're having a hard time right now, you may want to repeat this affirmation. Peace exists in each moment and within every cell of my being. Peace exists in each moment and within every, every cell of my being. Really looking for inner peace right now, I feel, Scorpio. Yeah. You will find it. You may want to go out into nature. You may want to sit for 10 minutes quietly, breathe deeply, and really, really try to slow those thoughts down. So let's get into this love energy. Tell me, Spirit, how is Scorpio's person feeling? And for those, you know, if you don't like the beginning of my videos, you can fast forward because some people do. So I know you're, you're, you're anxious to get into uh, the reading, but, um, you know, you don't have to drag me in the comments. Watching. I've been checking you out online. Your beauty amazes me. I can't be, I can't take my eyes off you. Wow. This person is watching, 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 checking you out on social media, waking up in the morning and looking at your page, seeing if you've posted something available. I'm ready to start my life with you. Holy, this person is, this is coming out strong. I don't know who this is for, but this person here sizzling. When I think about you, I touch myself and obsess. The only thing I only think of you on two occasions, and that's day and night. This person, y'all, this is a person here who is extremely into you. This person watches you all the time. They feel like they are available now. They're obsessing over you. They they literally are touching themselves when they think of you. Um, but they're, yeah, see, they're waiting to message you. They're delaying communication. This person could also have communication issues. They could have a hard time communicating. I feel there's an unsent me message just ready to be sent. I feel this person goes and they, they, they start texting you and then they, they don't send it. It sits in their, their, um, in their phone or um, they're, they're erasing and writing and erasing and writing and going back and forth on whether they should send you this message. They're afraid to send it to you because they're confused. They're filled with worry. They're filled with doubt. You all could have had a misunderstanding, but they feel that you're a perfect pair. This person feels that you are, you know, a match, that they love you unconditionally. Um, they want to make a plan. They don't want to leave it to chance. This person wants to start a plan. They want to get a plan in motion here on um, how to approach you, on what to say to you. This person here is really into you, Scorpio. Tell me, Spirit, how is this? What is going on? How is this person feeling? And what is going on? Lock your doors. How, how about it, Spirit? It's got jokes today. This person, scary obsession. Lock your doors, y'all. I'm starting to get a little worried here. This person here is literally um, that much, you know, this into you. They were very manipulating, though. They played mind games to get what they wanted. They, they aren't going to take no for an answer. And now we have messages coming in. So this person has been delaying messages, but they are about to send you a message, Scorpio. They are uh, mentally unstable at times. This person, I, I cannot help but I'm hearing... Um, when I think about you, I touch myself, I touch myself, I don't want anybody else. 
when I think about you, I touch myself that, that I it won't stay out of my mind. Oh my goodness. This person is really, really into you, y'all. I don't know who this is for, but damn, tell me how this person's feeling. I'm a little shocked. I really am. I'm a little taken back on the energy I feel here. Very regretful too. This person is not only watching you, but five of cups, very regretful. You could be dealing with another Scorpio, Scorpio Aries. There's a tower moment that's about to, to come down or you all had a tower moment. This person wants to come in and give you um, a tangible offer. Yeah, you all had some kind of breakup. Ten of pentacles in reverse, ten of cups, damn straight out the deck. Listen, this is somebody who is in total mad love with you. There is big love here. This is a... This is really good, Scorp, um, but a little scary, because especially seeing how this person played so many mind games. I feel you all had a tower moment, it seems. It looks to me like um, maybe this person could have already been married for some of you. They could have been in a long-term connection for some when you met them, and that's why you never took things to the next level. For others, you were married to this person or in a long-term connection with this person, and there, there was a tower moment. Um, and I feel like, where are the cards right in front of me? Of course, I feel like, uh, what was this tower spirit? This person is now, um, yeah, see, they were married for a lot of you. This person, um, was already married. They were already in a commitment. They could have told you they were getting a divorce and they didn't leave. They could have told you they were walking away, but fear stopped them. For others, this person was telling a third party they were going to leave you. They, they feel you're waiting or they're waiting, trying to be hopeful. Something was turned into a stalemate because of this person's actions, because of the way they acted. I feel here that you, you're you waiting for an apology, I heard. I, I feel, because I'm hearing apology. I feel here this person allows fear to overcome them. I also feel like they come in very, very hot and um, leave just as fast, right? Tell me, Spirit... What is blocking this person from coming in here? What is blocking them from coming in? Hmm. This person feels like um, there's there's something about round two. You you being afraid you're not going to take them back. They want round two, but why why are they not coming in, spirit? They feel that there's magic in your eyes and they feel it in their heart. It had something to do with possibly another feminine energy or somebody um, that was in a very sexual energy. Okay. And we have a lot of Scorpio Aquarius. It's a very complicated situation here. Why this person is not coming back in or why they're not communicating with you. I do feel here. There's so much love. There's so much passion. Um, honestly, Scorpio, this person has a lot of affection for you, but this is very complex situation. They were living a double life here. That's one of the reasons why they're afraid to reach out to you. They're, they're afraid that you're not going to want round two. Holy Spirit, please tell me, why is this person not reaching out to Scorpio? What is the problem here? They could have meant somebody new for, for a lot of you that you were with this person in a long-term connection and they meant somebody new. And, and left you, or they went back to somebody from their past. Their past is causing blocks in the present. So this person here is living some kind of double life, whether they are seeing you and married to somebody else, there's something or somebody from their past that is um, stopping them. But you all watching again, this person is watching you. Give them a show, Scorpio. Show them who you are, baby. They definitely feel like you all are soulmates, but there are many issues. They're very unstable. They're, they also are having trouble with their finances. This person is is um, not doing well financially and lovers. They need to make a decision in love. Um, Gemini energy could be dealing with a Gemini. Holy Spirit, please tell me, why is this person not reaching out to Scorpio? What is the tea here? What is going on? Give us the tea, Spirit. No, for some of you, they're recovering. For others, they could have actually spent time in jail for overindulging. They could have, um, they could be dealing with the justice system. They could be going through a divorce right now, um, or in the middle of a very bad breakup right now, dealing with custody of their children or something. For some of you, this person has lost their job. They overindulge here. They, um, 
you know, they're in a really loving energy today. King of Cups, this person loves you. Whoever I am channeling right now, there is just, you are the end all be all in this person's eyes, but they made some huge mistakes here. This person has conflict all around them. There's fighting, there's arguing, there's conflict, there's strife, there's tension. They could be dealing with the justice system. This could be a Libra, could be another, um, uh, could be a fire sign, an air sign, or a Sagittarius. I do feel like they are trying to be patient and hold their self back. It's become this scary obsession because they haven't allowed their self to um, process. They just tried to stuff it down and forget, and they can't do that. They can't forget you. So they're literally sizzling. This person is on fire for you. Y'all, if you felt the energy I felt, like this is just crazy. I was shaking at the beginning here. They literally, I feel shake when they go to message you or if they hear from you they they start shaking like you you really have um put you i don't know if you dick this person down or feed them down i don't know what you did to them but they are really obsessed scorpio honestly i feel yeah that th this is the thing thank you spirit you you left a mark on them you left a imprint on this person's soul you deserved better than this though you really did because they were not giving you all of them and they were they were spreading their energy everywhere i feel um this person you were blinded by them you could have been blinded by love for a moment scorpio as i often say love is like staring into the sun right love is literally that blinding and even though you turn away from the sun it, you're still seeing black spots. You're still not seeing properly. And that's what this love was like. You were blinded. But this person idolizes you, y'all. So what are they going to do next? Well, taking things to the next level, commitment. This person could be getting out of a divorce to come into you. This person, I mean, getting out of a marriage, getting in an getting a divorce to come to you. Um, they could be getting out of a bad relationship. This could have been a long distance connection. This person could be from a foreign country. This person could be traveling to a foreign country and then they want to come into you. Um, they're receiving messages in their dreams. Something is about to be revealed here, y'all. Tell me, Spirit, what is this person planning to do next? Well, they want to work on it. First of all, this person feels they're being punished. They could be, they could feel like they're actually going through bad karma for all of their, their cheating, deceit. There's jealousy here. There's temptation. Um, this person wants to come in and work on it in the next seven days to seven weeks, um, or April 7th, April 8th is going to have some kind of meaning for you. Um, W J W J it, it could mean something to you. N N your initial could start with N. Um, I do feel this person's going through a very painful change. They're grieving. Somebody could have actually passed away in their life. This person is really going through it. They need they they needed this change though. There's been a completion in their life, and some of them they're actually being punished in the justice system. They're actually being punished. For others, it's karmic justice. They are being punished here um, by the divine. This person wants to come in and um, work on things with you. Tell me what they want to do next, spirit. Um, this person is working. They are really focused on their job as well. Yeah, wow. They look at you like you are single, like you are abundant, like you are everything they have ever wanted or asked for. Empress, emperor energy. They're trying to manifest you back. This person is no longer making head over heart decisions. They're about to follow their heart. This could be an air sign. The the only thing I don't like, seven of swords, there's some kind of lie, but this is the thing. This person could be strategically, I, I feel it's more they are strategically planning. They have a plan. They've been holding on. They're holding on to everything they have because I feel like maybe they're with somebody who's very spiteful that would take you know, everything from them. And um, so they're holding on for dear life. What is the seven of swords spirit? What is this? Yeah, they've been a shapeshifter. They've been a people pleaser. This person's wanted to do do it for everybody else. Do it for the gram. This could be a Libra or a Taurus or a Virgo. They they've been people pleasing up until this point, right? They they're a shapeshifter. 
they're still in a devil energy, but they're trying to be really resourceful, really disciplined. Something's happening very soon. Whatever the case is, for a lot of you, it is going to, in the next seven to eight days, um, it is going to happen very soon. This person here feels you're aging well, okay? They also um, are going to come in here and try to finesse, yeah? They want to work on things. They feel you all have the tools that you need to work on this, like you can actually make it work. That's they, they feel, but they also have been doing something over and over again. For some of you, y'all are trendsetters. You do your own thing. You stay in your own lane. There's about to be a um, divine intervention here. Double rainbow serendipity, baby. Something serendipitous is about to happen. This person's in a get shit done masculine energy. They are... Um, really focused when strategically coming in here. I, I, I don't know if you have a family with this person or if they have a family somewhere else here, but family is really a big message here. This person could have outside influences like their family who is, is really um, toxic for you all's relationship. Yeah, this person was non-committal. There's gossip going on right now in the neighborhood. They could have gotten caught. You, If you were having an affair with this person, I feel you all have gotten caught. And um, their wife or husband found out about it. They're very focused on their career. So what they're going to do next is make some moves here in silence. This person is detaching um, from definitely could be an air sign. I feel they have to move out of a third party's house. I feel that um, there's a lot of gossip going on around on the streets about this person um, and you and your relationship. Um, maybe it's just because this person left you for a third party and people were gossiping about it or you, you know, whatever the case is, this person's friends and family are gossiping. They're talking, right? They know this person wants to leave as well. They also could know that they, they um, are literally scary, um, obsessed, right? That they're obsessed with you, that they're watching you all the time. They could talk about you all the time. Their friends and family know something. This person was living a double life. Yeah, they want to come in here. We have new love twice. They want to come in here and have a renewal. This person is making a very difficult decision. For some of them, they have been in counseling. They've been in therapy. For others, they have been doing their own therapy, maybe um, at home, listening to different um, YouTubers, listening to different motivational speakers, doing things like that. I feel this person has been trying to learn how to meditate. They've been resting, they've been healing. And whatever the case is, it's going to take some time here, spirit saying, right? For some, it's been a while since you have talked to this person, but in the next, you know, several days to several weeks, you're going to hear from them. This person has a choice to make. I do feel that they've been very cold. They've been very distant because they've been stalking and watching. What does this person want to say? What does this person want to say to Scorpio spirit? Yeah, I want you to be, well, well, they want to put in the work. They want to put in the work. I want to be with you. Will you pick up the phone when I call? I need some discipline. I need some discipline tonight. This person is trying to find discipline, but they are afraid that you are not going to pick up the phone when they contact you. They are afraid to contact you. You know what? We, let's get different messages here, y'all. They, they, I feel this person's afraid. It's been a while since you've talked, and they are afraid to contact you. I really feel like, um, yeah, it's time for me to heal now. They have been. It's my fault, but I blamed you. They blame you. You speak to them through music. This person's listening to music, crying, texting, not sending it. I, I'm just picturing somebody like this, listening to music, just really in their feels right now, Scorpio. You have this person in their feelings. I feel that they made a decision and it was not the right one. And now they are stuck here with either a third party having money problems or they're stuck in this lifestyle that they refuse to give up. And now you all have came to this moment where are they going to be a people pleaser and continue missing you and watching you obsessively? Or are they going to boss up and come in and at least tell you how they feel? 
right? Like they need to make a decision. For some of you, they have to choose between you and a third party. For others, it's just they have to choose between you and their family, you and, and their friends, you and a lifestyle. What's going to happen, spirit? They're magnetically attracted to you and you're going to get an unexpected text message. Once again, we have music. Somebody here could be a musician. Um, definitely somebody could um, see friends are a big thing. Somebody here could uh, play an instrument, be in a band. Um, but this person listens to music and thinks about you and they're going to unexpectedly reach out. They are reaching out possibly when they have some liquid courage, possibly after a few drinks, because um, I feel this person could drink or do something and sit and wallow. They just sit and, and feel, my goodness, like in a dark room, listening to a certain song, just really down. This person's friends could be very toxic, or you all could have meant through friends, or you're going to hear through friends that they are having a very hard time, that they've had some kind of thing happen to them. They want to take you out on a date, but this person has to go somebody else. They have to strategically leave somebody else is what I'm seeing. No, not everybody has a, you know, is in a third party, but what I see here is somebody strategically trying to leave somebody else to get, um, to be able to even contact you. So I feel for some of you, you got caught cheating and now this person's being watched all the time. For others, this person cheated on you and left you for this third party. And this third party is so suspicious because they know this person is a cheater. Whatever the case is, there is gossip going on. There's a lot going on here, y'all. This has been an intense reading. This person is sizzling for you. I wish you the very, very best, Scorpio. To close out the reading, what does Scorpio need to work on to surrender spirit? What should Scorpio surrender right now? What do they have to give up right now to live their very best life? Surrender to prayer. Yeah. So um, surrender to the wonder and the awe. We haven't pulled this one yet. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and the wonder in life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of the flow. Get in the flow, y'all. Look at the beauty around you. As I say all the time, if you're not living in the energy of love, you're living in the energy of fear. Look at the beauty in everything. I've been trying to be better at that as well. Really appreciate um, the things that you have, the people that you do have in your life, the beauty that you do have, instead of being so focused on what you don't. Surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. So the divine is saying, Scorpio, if you are confused in this situation or you do not have inner peace, pray, ask for guidance, ask for peace because you will receive, you will receive help, y'all. I am a, a, a example of prayer. Prayer has saved me many, many times. I have, I have had complete transformations because of prayer. Keep praying. You will find your answers. You will find your way after you have learned these lessons that you, you're supposed to be learning here in the pain. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Tap yourself every day in every way. I get better and better. I am a winner. All I do is win. Love and light.